Yeah. Cool. Uh, in 2009, an episode of the History Channel television series Mystery Quest looked at newspaper editor Richard uh, Gajkowski. Uh, during the time of the murders, Gajkowski worked for Good Times, a San Francisco counterculture newspaper. His appearance resembled the composite sketch and Nancy Slover, the uh, Vallejo uh, police dispatcher who was contacted by the Zodiac shortly after the Blue Rock Springs attack, uh, identified a recording of Gajkowski's voice as being the same as the Zodiac's. Is there any reason why you put Gajkowski's name last? Who says he's last? Is yeah, this... but last of the like the major one because because I read this document and I go because this is the guy I think is the Zodiac killer. Right. Okay. <gasps> go okay, for it. This is the bit. Hold on to your hats. <clears throat> right. Oh, why? So Guy Kowski's name first gets mentioned about 1986. Right. So he's really late to the kind of Zodiac suspects party. He crashes the Zodiac suspects list party. Right. Big time. Because. Um, as I said, Nancy Slo uh, it, yes, Nancy Slover. Mm -hmm. Here's a recording of um, Guy Kowski's voice and says, that's the guy. That's the guy I spoke to that night. Okay. And she is adamant. She is absolutely adamant. Now, that recording has been played to a lot of other people. Yeah. And they go to a lot of other people. So Majot said, hey, kind of, yeah. I mean, um, they've... I don't know if they played it to uh, Brian, Brian Hartnell. Um, somebody says they had, but he, Hartnell's reaction has not been uh, released. But Slovic, who, who takes, that's her job. She was a professional. Um, that is her job to take these calls. Mm. And she heard a lot of stuff in her career. Yeah. And she is absolutely adamant. Now, it's a clue there. He was a newspaper editor. Mm -hmm. Okay, Guy Kowski. What is the name of his the paper he edited? Uh, good times. Good times. I hope you're having a good time. Mm. It's, and it's, my identity is contained. Does it say contained in the cipher or contained in the letter? He mentions good times twice, mm. and it seems a little bit odd. It seems incongruous. It's like he's almost underlining mm. good times. Draw <laughs> the dots, Clod. So it's a counterculture. So, okay, bit of background on Guy Kowski. He's the right age, born in 1936. Right. So that puts him at the time of the killings. He does look, you look at, Google a photograph of Richard Guy Kowski, and it's almost identical to the composite sketch drawing. Let's have a look. It's the closest you will get to the sketch drawing of the Zodiac in that was done by the police artist, of all the suspects. Because he wears the glasses as well. Yeah. And he's got the hair. So, and he's the right height, and he's he served in the military, U.S. Army, as a medic. Uh -huh. So the boots. Yeah. You know, he can get access to those boots. He knows, and this is something that was pointed out, um, he knows how to cut cloth into bandages. He was trained. So he could mm. cut a shirt quickly into strips. Yeah. Okay, this is, everything I'm going to say about Guy Kowski is circumstantial because... Again, with all of the, and it's the true with all the suspects because the DNA just cannot be tied to them. Yeah. And, and other and fingerprints. So we're looking, but Guy Kowski, there's so much in his life and background. So he edits this counterculture newspaper called Good Times. And it, the paper is really radical progressive. We would recognize it, you know, it's beyond Vox and Slate. It's calling for violence against the police, calling for the overthrow of the liberal or, you know, it's, it's into the Black Panthers, it's into all this. Now, what Zodiac does is he taunts the police and he calls them, in some of the letters, he calls the police pigs. Mm -hmm. And that was the, a really common, there you go, and that's a really common uh, epithet that the counterculture of the 60s would call police pigs. It was them who popularized mm. the term. So he's right. You, he's using the language of the counterculture, calling the police pigs, calling them stupid. Mm. Um, he also has a, a bit of an interest in um, the occult as well. Um, not majorly, but he's aware of it. Yeah. So when we start looking at you know the things about paradise slaves the zodiac symbol 
he's got a bit of a background interest in that. Yeah. But um, so he is also suffering from mental health problems during his time um, in the, in the sixties. So he he is eventually diagnosed in 1971. He's eventually diagnosed as a schizophrenic. Yeah. But he'd been complaining of mental health problems, and his co-workers were complaining about his mental health problems even before then. He would be very paranoid in the office that either the feds or the Black Panthers were out to kill him. Hmm. He would sometimes wear uh, like a b- bizarre hats and sit, sit under his desk. Asking, right. You know, have they left yet? Who? The feds. The feds went in the building, Richard. <laughs> um <laughs> So there is that going on. Um, he's also, oh, this is what it just gets better. So he, good times, the officers of good times is a block and a half away from the Paul Stein killing. Oh, what? <laughs> Paul Stein is, remember, he was a journalism, studying journalism. He worked in the same building as Guy Kowski. Yeah. In diff- for different papers. Yeah. So they're working. It just gets better. I've seen. I've seen the God, video. I, I've, I've. Sorry. Just. Just. Just to stop you there. Desiccated limbs. Mr. Borland uh, did a video including Ed Edwards, who confessed to five murders. We'll yeah, get to him in a second. But yeah, uh, you but should. This, you should. You I'm, should. I'm, you should be seeing uh, a comparison now of the composite sketch and Richard Gajkowski. I mean, it's. It's. I mean, the widow's peak and the nose. That, that's basically the only two differences. Uh, when the widow's, yeah. the widow's peak. The, the police artist drew a widow's peak. The teenager said they did never. They never said to him he had a widow's peak. Okay, so that's a good start. So, uh, but so I... gone. Anyway, so Guy Kowski. I'm, I'm just like I said. My mind gets blown when I, when I look at Guy Kowski's life. He lives in Riverside in 1966, 1968, but he's living also in San Francisco. Mm. So he's. A, He's got mental health issues. He's living in Riverside, so he was probably going to that same mental health establishment opposite mm. the library and the diner. Um, yeah. Apparently, oh. somebody said he was at the painting party. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the other thing that links into Darlene Ferrin. So Ferrin mm. said on her second marriage, moves to Albany, New York. For all, at the same time, Garkowski moves to Albany in New York. When Ferrin moves back to Vallejo, Garkowski moves back to uh, Vallejo within a week. Oh, wow. Garkowski also says, I can't be the Zodiac because in 1969, I was in Ireland covering the Troubles. Um Tom Voigt got hold of Gajkowski's passport. Gajkowski passed away, I think, in 20, 2002. Right. I think. But got hold of his passport. There is no visa into the United Kingdom in the time Gajkowski okay. claimed he was there. So no, and nobody in Ireland remembers an American counterculture journalist showing up. <laughs> so, that's, the so that's alibi BTFO'd then, basically. Yeah, alibi BTFO'd. Um, <laughs> Mm. So there is, I said there's no DNA evidence uh, with Gajkowski, but when they tested one of the stamps, Mm -hmm. partial DNA showed up of two of Gajkowski's co-workers at good times. So it's not beyond the realms of possibility that these co-workers are probably not in on the Zodiac killings, but handled the envelope or the stamps if Gajkowski was using office stationery. It could be possible that they just lick the stamps like pre, um, like yeah. in advance. Yeah, it's part yeah. of it, yeah. yeah. And, and, the, and he took one of those, not the Gajkowski thing, you know, in 30 years' time they will have technology to examine my saliva, mm. but he's just grab, he's grabbing things that's possibly in the office. The other thing that people notice that... Um, uh zodiac mailed letters to the newspapers and to the police on every day of the week where there was a postal delivery except wednesdays and wednesdays was when good times had its editorial board meeting which uh-huh. he is in attendance so the circumstantial evidence on guy Kowski is massive it's just but we cannot tie him physically no. to the case 
Mm-hmm. But the also, the, and this is what links Arthur Lee Allen and um, Guy Kowski is when you're looking at what the murders probably stop after 1971, they definitely stop after 1974 because that's mm. 1974 is the last letter where he says Z- uh, me 37 SFPD zero. Yeah. So why does Zodiac's uh, stuff drop off? Arthur Lee Allen's in prison for child molestation yeah. again. So he serves a prison term when Zodiac's activities drop and cease. Gajkowski commits himself to a mental asylum at the same time for the same length of time. So it's, it's just like, it, it just, it, it couldn't have been timed any better, especially if it's just the one person doing it, you know, it, it, it does make, yeah. Um, you know what? I think you might have, you, you might have done enough. Um, well, Admiral Belzadil believes that he jumped out of a plane in 71. Yeah, the the sketch, the composite <clears throat> sketch of yeah. the Zodiac is almost identical. So the composite sketch of DB Cooper. DB Cooper. Is... Um, okay, well, I think... I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, if you think that uh, Gajkowski is the true Zodiac, hit one in the chat. Um, if not, then hit two. I mean, ju- just reading through his wiki as well, uh, you may have mentioned it before, but he, when he was put into the mental asylum, yeah, as you say, it, it, Zodiac killing goes down, mm. like, no Zodiac killer activity while he's committed to the mental asylum. Yeah, uh, as you say, circumstantial evidence, but... Well, one of the things is that when Arthur Lee Allen and mm. Guy Kowski are released from their respective places and they go on and live the rest of their lives... Mm. Um, they're never suspected of any murders ever again. <laughs> and it's been postulated that they're on medication. And when the Zodiac killings happened, they were not on medication. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, either that or, as we say, the Zodiac killer isn't an idiot. It's like, why would he kill again after? It's... Well, so, again, it's, know, it's it's some, here, sometimes, yeah. sometimes just an insatiable urge. It, like, like Robert said, it yeah. could be a mental will, could be a mental illness. I mean, Again, you know, I hate to sort of bring it back, but you know, Richard Trent and Chase um, did it because he, you know, truly believed that he needed blood to essentially sustain himself because yeah, yeah. his his heart was literally melting away in in his you know in his world. Well, that's what he saw, yeah. yeah, Rich, um, obviously Yorkshire Ripper did it because he hated women. Um, Ace. No, you know, <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> um, you know that they all have their own reasons. Um, oh, it's just Ted Kaczynski. Yeah. Ted Kaczynski. Yeah. Um, now the other got... thing is that when they're on, so I'll just leave this last point on the, on the whole thing of the mental health and the medication. Is that the, the diagnosis of schizophrenia or having the? Uh, it's not the same as multiple personality disorder, but mm. on the medication, it's often described like when they were off medication it was like i wasn't a per- i wasn't that person i was a completely different i was completely cut off so when arthur lee allen and guy kowski in later years kind of said i'm not the zodiac hmm. it's almost like the people they were in later life are disconnected from that yeah. time of the zodiac yeah because of the 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 mental health treatment they were getting from the mid 70s onwards it's almost like they're saying sorry it's almost like they're saying, I'm not the Zodiac now. Mm. But they would never. <laughs> but they, 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 they'd never, they'd never, they'd never finish the sentence with the word now. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let's, um, I'm, <laughs> mate, I'm, 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 I'm really, uh, do you know what? I'm definitely going to go back on the stream after, um, and, and, and listen to that Richard Gajkowski, <laughs> um, theory again, because that, that does hold, that does hold water. I, I know it's, I know it's only circumstantial, but, it certainly holds um certainly an interesting theory um next person though